Uh, Andrew, uh, Judge Walton, uh, appointed by President Bush, uh, this is this is someone who has had a lot of experience with January 6th defendants in uh, Washington, D.C. Very unusual for a federal judge to do public interviews like this. Uh, and he's decided uh, he wanted to have something to say about Donald Trump's conduct. You know, uh, it is very unusual to have judges speaking out in this way, um, but it's worth noting uh, that Judge Walton, extremely respected judge in D.C., is not the only judge who has been speaking out. Uh, you have Beryl Howell, the former chief judge, uh, Royce Lamberth, uh, who used to be uh, on the FISC, the FISA court, also a very well-respected judge, all speaking out about the problem of uh, violence of the problem of people uh, spewing lies about the judiciary. And, you know, it makes sense that that is where we are, unfortunately, as a country. We lived through a time where the media uh, was constantly attacked um, because it was a check on the power of Donald Trump. We lived through that with respect to the Department of Justice, individual prosecutors, as I know very well. Um, for the same reason, because it was a check on his power. And now that he is facing um, enormous civil liability and criminal liability, with the first of the criminal cases starting on the 15th, this is, this is all to be expected, and it's all a sign of where we are as a country. Um, and it's good to see judges in a bipartisan way speaking up about the rule of law and how central and important it is to our country. And it's worth noting, by the way, that, that Donald Trump's latest attack on the judge's daughter is false. He's attributing a social media post to her that she didn't make at all. Uh, but I, I do think that people are struggling to understand why uh, the gag order that Judge Michonne has issued against Donald Trump does uh, uh, somehow allows for this to happen. Well, it'll be interesting to see whether it gets expanded in light of this. And I think it is because uh, the judges are very reticent to apply the gag orders to themselves um, out of a sense of duty, of a sense of mission and purpose to the rule of law, that they're there to protect other participants in the process, whether it's jurors, witnesses, court staff, um, but they tend to look at themselves um, last in that, um, in that list and, and litany of people. Um, and frankly, you would think that it, it is, it's so um, sort of out, it's just inconceivable to think that that's something they really should have to worry about, but that's where we are. So I, I will be interested to see whether Judge Mershon, if this continues, and frankly, the other judges uh, who are handling these cases expand uh, these gag orders um, because, of course, uh, you want to make sure that you're stemming the, the potential violence. You don't want to wait until it's actually happened. Hey everyone, MSNBC has a new and improved app. You'll get real-time alerts and analysis, live blogs, in-depth essays, video highlights, and the best 2024 election coverage. Download the new MSNBC app. Here's how to do it. You tap on the App Store on your phone. You hit search on the bottom right corner. You type in MSNBC. You click on the MSNBC app. You click on get or the cloud icon and enjoy it.